Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest where I've tried to compose myself a little bit after last episode and we head on in the bottom of the well hoping not to be scared I, I got scared instantly as soon as I said that. Watch for the shadows and monsters that hang from the ceiling. Well, look at the one. There's one. There's the hand right in front of us. Did you not just see us? The camera pan, maybe. It's like right there. Ah! I wish there was some way to like freeze them or something. Oh, damn you. Well, you can't grab me at least, can you? I've got, I've got to watch out for the one from the ceiling, really. Oh, no. we got to kill you as well, haven't we? Get off me hands! You didn't you disabled me from killing the one from above. Also now the main issue stands. Yes, this is the main issue! Whoa! And you've turned back to a normal big one, but we've already got the one on the ceiling down, so we're happy. We are happy. Happy happy, even though we're losing HP like no one's business. Oh come on, I thought I'd have deflected you like I did last time. Right, we're gonna play this properly then. Sword and a shield. Oh! Come back here! You as well. Well, I can hack and slash you all to oblivion, but we can't get any further again because yet again. Another door blocked with a key. We find rooms to enter. We don't find anything within them to move forward with. means there's just got to be more to find around the place. This whole bottom of the well thing has not gone well. There was no pun intended there. Alright, so we know there's those guys in there. We know there's this room with a jar that can give us a bit... Ooh. So I'd say, heal me, small fairy. Okay, there's lots of these things to bomb, and we're going to have to do that, I feel. I feel that is the key for further movement. Bombing a lot of them. There's also this trench over here, but that is blocked off entirely. There's that Gibdo still cowering in his crazy zombie fashion way. Oh, here we go. A passageway. Thank you, Minimap. I accidentally fell down, but we got somewhere because of it. No obvious monsters going on here. And nothing ever to pick up. Ah. Special room with kind of demon hand things. What on earth? It grabbed me and then something else coming. What, what, what on earth are you, sir? Dead hand, watch out for its imminent hands, aim for its head. Right. You're telling me. Die. Oh, kill the hand. And then it blew up. I'm confused. So walking into its hand actually summoned the bad guy. Oh, that works. We just need to get away in time. Let him come over to us. Hi. You're really, really kind of creepy. We've got to be close enough. He wants to say hello and nibble on us a bit. But usually he goes... Uh, uh, uh. Please stop grabbing me, hand. Oh, you get me from range now. Ah, the grass. I picked up the grass. Not my intention, that's for sure. But he got defeated and buried anyway. Hey, can you get off me, Hand? Yeah. Right, you and me, we're gonna fight yet again. Lower your head. Oh. We took you out pretty well. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that. I gotta say, I can't remember that ever being in this game. But, you know. That's because the Shadow Temple I just spent my time crying in a corner. 
rather than actually enjoying it. <laughs> ah, what do we get as a reward? Hello. In fact, the entrance was the other way. And we got ourselves a compass. Nothing better than that. So now we have the compass and the dungeon map. Hopefully, we can find a way to move forward a bit more. A little something something. And straight away, we found a little something something. Right, so blowing those up does yield rewards after all. We're not just completely stuck in a horrific loop. Right, so we have explored nearly every room. And that treasure chest, if I'm correct in saying, is where we saw the gigantic amount of zombies. That seems to be the chest we are after, in fact, because that's the only chest represented on the entire map. Now, how to get it appears is a different story. Seems to be the chest we've been after all this time. Because, of course, we've got the dungeon map, we've got the compass, so that all that leaves is the dungeon item proper. A lens that can see things, certain special things. Of course, we now have a key for a door, so then let's take one. Why did it look like it was two links then for a second? I'm not even turning around. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to slash the hell out of you, sir. I was expecting you to be... I knew you were moving. I could see you, like, moving, but... I was expecting you did not be, like, coming for me like that. And there's a Poe, at the very least. Torches to light with a Deku stick. I don't know what else is in these great... Oh, I can get in them. Not nice. We know there's a Poe. We know that if we target them, they run away. Well, actually, they run away anyway. But if we, oh, Gold Scotia! Oh no, we little Link. This is going to take some time. I'm over here. I'll pick that up in the meantime, though. Quite nicely, thank you. Right, you are around here in the wall. We're obviously going to have to kill you to allow ourselves free passage. Oh, where'd you go, sir? Dead. And buried. That's how we like you. And you can stay unhappy all you like, sir. Something tells me that if I check all these graves, I might be able to find something. Nope, nothing in that one. Uh, we haven't been in this one. The two middle ones, or the two these ones. Well, there's nothing in the other ones by the look of it. Well, we'll light all the torches. And we've got the bottom of the well done for gold sculptures, according to that gold sculpture sign. Right. I missed. Somehow, some way. Ah, we light these torches one at a time, but something else is here. Oh, come on. Right, let's put this away. Do you get frozen by light? The mummies are vulnerable to that as well. You're just a standard Gibdo, aren't you? Or... Gibdo, yes, you are Gibdo. You're just one wrapped up. Bash away as much as possible. Check your grave, nothing there. Right. Next on the list. We are right next to this one, which could prove to be horrific. What's coming out? What's coming out? Yet another Gibdo. Keep attacking, Sam. Do not let up. Do the damage and pray for the best. That leaves one more. Actually, there's two torches, isn't there? Well, this one's got to be open up the middle coffin. Ah! 
So one of my I ask appears in the last one. No, you saw me. Do not hump my face. My face is very pretty and I like it that way. No, he's humping my back, which is slightly not better. No. So what, you only hump adult Link's face, but you hump young Link in the back? That's just rude. I don't like this at all. There appears to be nothing. Nothing to earn, nothing to gain. We've killed three Gibdos. Opened up all their coffins and found nothing. I was expecting maybe another key or... Something all nice. Really just nothing at all. I was expecting something more. Maybe the problem is that we can't see whatever it is we're after. Maybe it's invisible. Maybe getting in these coffins is the way to go. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just over examining things. But either way, opening up... Oh, there's a heart in the coffin. Interesting. Well, that wasn't expected. I just want in the coffin, Link. Get in there. Come on. Nothing in this one. There's a heart in some of them, but not in others. Oh, well, I guess, if anything, getting that key and opening up this door meant that we got, of course, a gold sculpture. So that's a good thing. Good thing. Good thing. We know where the next chest is, however. It's just actually getting it to spawn. Which might be what that switch is for, if you know what I mean. The one where we're supposed to fall down on above the cave. That might be what we're looking for. Still another door to open up, however. Still a billion of these passageways. We're running out of Deku. Oh no, we got some more, didn't we? We got some more from a fight we had uh, off the grass. We get some more there. I was wondering if there was some kind of switch, but obviously not. Alright, so we've blown up most of these now. That drops us into the cave by the look of it. So that kind of brings us a problem. Where do we orientate ourselves so we can fall on top of that switch? Because this map isn't built in a way that it's supposed to uh, show that kind of orientation. Um, we are at the moment the far top right. Okay, we're top right. I don't know, we could fall down this hole and see what happens. But I think it's right at the end of the corridor for this. I know there's a boulder coming. But I want him dead before anything happens. So we need to get up there. We need to find the relative hole that will drop us down onto that switch. None of the other passageways has led us anywhere good. They've all just been dead ends where the ball rolls down. And then we get in a horrible mishmash here when the boulder comes from your side. Yes, I kind of expected that to happen when I started walking out that way. Don't step in the green either, that would be bad. Right, we've done that corridor. That corridor is where our switch is, we need to find a way up into it. That's with all the zombies that even though we killed did not spawn any kind of treasure chest whatsoever. This is going to hurt, yes. So we kind of orientate ourselves from when we're up and then look for a hole. That sounds really random but that's exactly what we got to do. Alright, so we're looking for a hole somewhere that away. So in theory, here, we haven't exploded this. Amazed we haven't found the dungeon item yet. Well that one's not explodable, but that one is. 
And that one brings us the hole that we need. No hearts underneath. Nothing else apart from hearts? I feel skeptical. Really? Okay. A couple of random placed extra hearts. So we're still looking for a hole then, which is about this away. Probably, in fact, if I had to say anywhere. What are you looking at then, Navy, my dear? You just suddenly appeared. Behind that grate. We should have used the key on that door. There's got to be another key to be earned. Of course, we know where a definite extra key is. Because there's a key in this room. However, getting over it is another story. Maybe if we destroy the pots as we walk to them. The pots are obviously on something, which means the pots are platforms, right? So we destroy the pots and then use them as an expected jumping position? Or no, we could just use the pots as a tracker to walk across, which works just as well. Why did it not work the first time I tried to then? Obviously the pot pushed me away. And so therefore became completely unusable. However, getting back across is going to be another story, isn't it? Okay, let's reorientate myself towards the door and run and pray! Not so much pray. Well, at least we have the key. Oh, come on! Not then of any time. You could have just waited a couple of seconds. You, sir, I'm going to punish you. For all your transgressions, give me lots of rupees for no reason. I love how they give tons of rupees, but still, we got the key. <laughs> Despite the fact that, obviously, last episode I tried to get that key, fell down, and you guys went, oh. It's not my fault. The jar pushed me away. I actually thought there was no platform or place to go further from that jar. So technically it is my fault, but I'm I'm blaming it on game mechanics. Yes. Game mechanics. It's not me, it's, it's you. Yes. So if the monsters have respawned in that previous room, I mean we have done it this episode, but we should be able to just leg it through, in theory. This has lasted far too long for a mini dungeon. It's a labyrinth of its own proportions. Ah! Alright, excuse me. We're gonna have to eat your tiny little switch. I'm so glad to have hit it twice without problem. Alright, oh, you're obviously in here again, but you see, I'm gonna go like this, and then through here like this. And ignore you completely, isn't that amazing? Hey, other sculpture, do you like bombs? I like bombs. And strange enough. We find a switch instead of a hole through the floor, but we make ourselves a hole through the floor, which should be about in the right position, of course. We can't get out this way, so we have to go all the way back. Hi, guys. Don't kill me. <laughs> Stop trying to eat my soul. We finally look to be able to complete the well! Hooray! Sam, these puzzles weren't so hard, but you managed to get yourself messed up anyway. Ah! And we unlock the treasure chest at last. I know you're gonna come, so why don't you just cut to the chase and start attacking? Don't you- Ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. I need, like, more open land. Yeah. 
Punishment is divine. Ow! I'll stop walking in the green fluid. Right, we defeated you all before. But this time we're just going to walk straight through you and take our chest. Hooray! The bottom of the well, it looks like finally completed. Excuse me, guys. i got to open this. Get ourselves the lens of truth. Set it to see and you see to look through it. Mysterious things are hidden everywhere. Be sure to try to use it outside of the well. Seeing the truth will cost magic power, so you see again to stop using it. Now there is, of course, a secret method to use it, which is basically just to press the button over and over and over and over, because it can't use magic power if you're constantly using it like this. Basically, this is it. A lens hole that allows you to see the truth that you can see over there. All the sculptures that were originally plaguing us. So it's time to head outside the well and bid you guys farewell for this episode. We finally completed it. We got ourselves the lens of truth and now we head to the adult times and face the shadow temple. Or maybe not because you guys have been pestering or more or less asking, when am I going to get the big Goron sword? Maybe we'll get that for you guys. Maybe we will. I was going to do it a lot later and just face it with a normal sword, but Big Goron Sword sounds good to me. I'm sure it sounds good to you. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye until next episode. Farewell.